to have you again here. This is the uh, last program that we are presenting before the final uh, uh, exhibition at uh, Amber Network Festival. We're happy to uh, watch together uh, videos by 14 artists. And right now I want to give you a, like a four or five minute until more people joining us. I wanted to give you a four or five minute uh, introduction about uh, the Parking Video Library and uh, the history behind this program. So um, luckily, um, then we can we can watch and we, are, we will be here. Some of the artists will join for a Q&A afterward. So um, the history of Parking Gallery, the previous project space that we had, uh, it goes back to 1998. Uh, when I was like a young student with a couple of uh, classmates at the university. So we started to um, form a small um, atelier. As we can see here, it is called um, Atelier Parking, and this is the first logo it had. And uh, we were students of visual communication, graphic design, and uh, some other uh, backgrounds. So we gathered here to do various activities uh, and basically to do some sort of like university assignments, something that the university didn't offer, and also to make a space for exhibiting, sharing, and working together. So this is us in 19, summer 1998, and then there are, you can see this red triangle, two cars in the parking. And the space I'm going to show you a little bit later. And then we did some expansion. This was basically a parking lot below my. Um, so we were using it, as I told you, we started to renovate the space. These are the very analog photography we had from the, the first exhibition in summer 1998. And then afterward, when the more university assignments started, uh, we started to using uh, the space more creatively for drawing sessions, printmaking, video photography, and other activities, as you can see here. And this is uh, my grandma, grandfather's uh, fiat in the background. So in 2002, we started parkinggallery.com as a platform to show uh, work. At the time, it was not really easy for younger artists to get a gallery show or something like that. And then this was how our website would look like. I mean, when you, if you would click on it, 2002, 2003. So, um, yeah, when we started uh, also some sort of graphic design, some sort of other activities, we could earn some money and you know, also we could spend um, doing some uh, web design and multimedia program also our photography and experimental video series started. So we have, um, we started putting together a library from what we could earn and as well as very early steps toward the video archive. And then uh, around 2004, it comes the parking video library or in Farsi, Archive Video e Parking, uh, which later become uh, also involved in various exhibitions such as this one, Deep Depression and Deeper Depression, the follow-up exhibition, um, which was a big turnout of people participating and attending. So as you can see, there were like different kinds of medium involved and many, many artists. And this is at Tehran University Gallery and the other scenes are at Azad Gallery in Tehran. Um, after this big exhibition, also we found the urgency to also to put together an archive to take care of the files. I mean, sort them, write about them, try to also make them available in different uh, uh, platforms, like I don't know, offline, of course, on the DVDs, and if keeping them, sorting them different formats. I mean, there were VCDs at the time, and then we started to sorting. Uh, higher quality uh, uh, programs. So there were like exhibitions happening also, such as this one, it was called this transition. 
market آزاد گردید and then around 2006 to 2008 we could also earn some more money put together a better library and starting to do curated screening and artist talks and performances in this space as you can see the cars are like now there are three of them and then it starts uh, making some sort of problem for the space and we had to put the cars out all the time and sometimes um, these are two scenes from the office and the, the parking itself so we had to as you can see i mean it's like a multi-usage space sometimes the car wouldn't start and we couldn't put them out we keep them in the background or sometimes um, Um, yes, so I mean, when because of the website, we started to do some international projects, such as this one in New York at the Iran Video Current, Thomas Erwin Gallery, and the other one at City International Design. So, I mean, having the archive also would help us to get some more places also to be uh, involved with more people, especially when we also started to work on our festival, which is called Limited Access, and we did a lot of exchanges. This is one in Ghent, um, in Belgium, and the other one in Berlin. Um, and, uh, but the story behind the Invisible Present Tense, I mean, goes back to 2011, where I started to put together a program which was set to be shown in, in the United States, and later, um, in, in San Francisco, in Columbus uh, State University of Ohio. And then um, it was an offer to us to curate another program besides uh, the exhibition Iranian Pulse, Pulso Iraniano, which was touring in Brazil. So the first uh, edition actually arrived there. And then sh shortly after that, I mean, there was a uh, collaboration between uh, Rotterdam Film Festival uh, in Beijing Independent Film Festival, which came later, and Yotebori Film Festival. So I mean, it started to put things in a, in, a, in a certain order, and we could actually look at the programs. This is the first program from the Rotterdam Film Festival, and you can see red thing that we are going to show rescreen here to this, today in our program. So I mean, the idea behind the program is also to make a slice of what is happening in different practices. People are in transition between one, one medium to another. But then slowly after that, I mean, when this introductory uh, mission was over, we started to also have more like thematic approach in some of this like such as this one, which was in Kunstraum Postdorm in 2017, the second edition, and this one, which was shown in Tehran, Shiraz, Isfahan, and Ahwaz, summer 2019. And there we are here um, with the fourth edition of, and then we also changed the title from Invisible to Inaccessible Present, and I hope really you enjoy the program, the, um, there are 14 artists here, and there are some works that are actually being premiered here for the first time, so we are really excited to, to watch them. And I don't take so much more of your time. I hope you enjoy the program, and we will be here afterward to have a look and some Q&A with the artist and myself. Um, I hope you enjoy. We can start the program in a small moment. Thank you.
Tragična slika na Maksimirskom stadionu na zelenom tepihu. Navijači, igrači, milicija, vatrogasna kola. Tušnjave na sve strane. Prijetila je opasnost da dođe do pravog rata. Najprej u samom početku Nemira navijači Crvete zvezde razrušili su reklame na onom dijelu stadiona gdje su se oni nalazili. Zatim su počeli leteti kamenice sa sjevernog dijela stadiona gdje su navijački Dinama. U tom trenutku osiguranja nije bilo dovoljno. Čekalo se 10 do 15 minuta da bi stigle jače jedinice osiguranja koji su se kasnije sukobile sa navijačima sa sjevera sa takozvanim B Blue Boysima. Well, I guess we all know what it's like to be sheep now. If it was based on my life, then it would it would limit me. I'm not saying you're never going to go through some low places. Na bitte schön, ich wusste es doch. Und geht in die Neues hilft nun Triglos von L'Oreal. Glanz ist eine Macht. Why do you gotta be like this? What did we ever do to you? Certo punto ho detto sta raccattando da non so quale. W szczególności Sebastian Kęciński. Für eine noch sanfter. Etwas eigen. Krasne pierwoplaś. Es ist so. Czekolada. Pesce di pasta nalku.
Who are we? Who do we help? Autonomo Tormentek is a manufacturing pop-up company which designs and produces the ideas and devices that enables the affiliated and lonely people to get satisfied by practicing the real independency and individuality by torturing themselves. Our mission is to give everyone an opportunity to make decision and govern their body, pains and fears independently without any external force or help to enjoy a more autonomous and tolerable life. Because we believe that you are ultimately alone and the only way to overcome this loneliness is to do it by yourself. Until now, we popped up in three different countries and produced devices according to the needs of public and we continuously are working on establishing and expanding more and more autonomotormentistic notions and lifestyles around the world by their very diverse and creative strategies. What is the problem that we found? Since we define our system a progressive and non-rigid system, we always attempt to go further and find out our customers' new needs and challenges. The one and most important dilemma we realize through our research by following your comments and critics is, this is not yet it. Which by our opinion means you need more. You have tried all our products. You have tested all parts of your body, but you still think that this is not it. Let's see how this mechanism works. With these two following examples of the same problem and the way it's solved.
سلام خانم سلام خانم شما در مورد تحقیق میدان هستید ما خواست که شما رو دنبال کردیم و متوجه کارتون شدیم میشه برام حضرت کارتون رو بگید کلا من از تحقیق کردن خیلی لذت میبرم و در مورد تحقیق بودم ولی شما که مطالعه نکرد تا اونجا که ما دنبال کردیم خیلی مهم نیست من فکر کنم همین پروسه تحقیق کردن کافی باشه خیلی مهم نیست شروع دارم دنبال میکنم What is our conclusion? Enjoyment begets more enjoyment. Knowledge begets more knowledge. Therefore, pain begets more pain. What you need is a surplus pain. The pain of desire reverts into desire of pain. To achieve this goal, we examined different pains and came up with the phantom pain. A phantom pain is a pain which is felt in part of the body which no longer exists. So a patient could have had an arm amputated or a leg amputated, yet they still feel pain. But not only can the mind fool people into thinking a missing limb is there when it is not, but also experiments prove that people can be fooled into thinking another object is part of them. This deception is known as the rubber hand illusion. You fool the body with fake body parts and you fool the body with synchronous strokes and prods. RHI demonstrates that the combination of visual and uh, tactile signals strongly influences the subjective experience of the body ownership. We find this interesting because as a company, we work on projects that use technology to naturally change how you feel, think and behave. What is our solution? Hence, in order to experience the surplus pain, we came to believe that you first need to own a surplus body part. To do this, we designed and produced a new autonomous tormentech package, which gives you the ability to experience this truly innovative surplus pain by yourself. Auto surplus pain. So please do not get stuck there. We also sincerely believe that this is not yet it. The more you pain, the more you demand now and again. Go for it and get your auto surplus pain today. Autonomo Tormentek plays all the cards on the deck. Ha 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 
تأثیری نداره راحت ازش عبور میکنم و ولی الان چند وقت اخیر اینا دوباره برگشت بنده کری سلام چطوری؟ خوبی؟ قرونت دارم مرسی عزیزم چی کار میکنی؟ با زحمت های ما وای قرونش دارم آخه بزرگ شده آره لفتم عزیزم
I wake up in the morning with the alarm. Wish I could sleep a bit more. Really need to put my head on my pillow again. But the light coming through the window doesn't like me. I should get up now. The fan is still making that sound. I need to go to the bathroom. My face is a mess. Better make some coffee to charge me up. A small cup is enough. Cut the broccoli. Put them in the pan. Better take a shower. When you come to the cinema, okay, see ya. <laughs> Surf the internet a little bit on my laptop. Where's the TV remote? TV only shows live. I mean it only shows what we're supposed to see, not what it is. I should put my clothes on. Again with this chatty neighbor.
I need some cash. Better take a cab so I can get to the cinema sooner. Week takes equals 5040. Class motive opens constructor. Happy life equals zero. Happy week equals zero. Happy day equals zero. Happy now equals zero. Physical equals zero. Energy equals
minus 40 will freeze. Tech class O plus S dot CLOCKM plus equals to Ink game clock J are you there? F this dot CLOCKM greater than 58. This dot CLOCKM equals zero. This dot CLOCKH equals equals plus if this dot CLOCKH greater than 24. This dot CLOCKH equals one. Comes M equals new motive. This dot motive energy if m dot energy greater than zero if m dot alertness greater than zero m dot energy equals m dot alertness a hundred else m dot energy equals m dot alertness a hundred a hundred m dot energy fifty else if m dot alertness greater than zero M dot energy equals M dot alertness 100, 100 plus M dot energy 50, else M dot energy equals M dot alertness 100, if M dot hunger greater than this dot O motive dot hunger. Baby, you know, you know, you know, you know. I think some magicians. Oh, or that. <laughs> Look like hash. Yeah. <laughs> I like this stuff. You
Yes. I know. I like the texture. Oh my god. <laughs> Just always with all of all. What's
it's a pizza place and things. I'm the hottest. We even talked about you in our couple of moments.
It's so, it's so
Like it. Kept hoping for one more question or for someone to say. workers which hurts them but also hurts American workers. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, some of us are here in the room, and uh, Hanale also she's here. Uh, she join us in a second. So, if there are any questions, I would be happy. We would be happy to like to discuss the program. If there, also, if you give us some. Feedback, Sirash is here from the artist, Falgush is here, I don't know, and who else? A couple of more. Um, so feel free to type in the, in the, in the chat, or if... Uh, I know that this was like a 70, 7 minutes long run, and we all need to... Let it settle a little bit, but if there are urgent questions, I will be happy to talk with you on the subject. I don't know, nobody is typing, I don't know, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Just looking. Yeah, Amir is typing. Yes. Some of us had uh, some um, connection problem from Iran because it was being streamed from YouTube and VPN problem, speed problem. But uh, we would try to put this later online. And um, I, I mean, no, we're not going to put it online. We're going to, after the, the lockdown is over in Tehran, we're going to, hopefully, if it's safe, we're going to show it in our space one more time. But, are we, are we going to keep it online today on our YouTube? Um, I don't know. I, don't ask. I mean, I think maybe unlisted or... You, because normally when you stream, I mean, the videos won't show up if you stream from BBB. If I'm understood, this is Hanane. Hanane. Is this is now. It's a question of now. Um, well, we have the file. We can upload it later if necessary. For a, only for a temporary time, we can do an, another online screening right now. But okay. uh, also, yes, two questions are coming. Two people are typing. Also, you can open your microphone and uh, let us know if you. Uh, but since I had no names here, do you want to say something about your piece? Mm. Mm. No, just mm. hello everyone. Is everyone there? Everyone? I think some, some people are there. I don't know if everyone is there. <laughs> yes, well, you wanted to say hi? Or you wanted to say something? Okay. I don't know, what are, what are we talking about? No, and if, if there are questions, we are here to answer. Some people are typing. Yes, one question came. Uh, Amir says, wanted to ask about COH work. Is the AI engine open source, and what is its name? Um, COH, are you here? Can you unmute yourself? Hi. Can we see you? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, cool. uh, yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, two are uh, for the AI generated image is uh, called uh, Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, pre learned uh, AI uh, used the uh, image net database from Google. But uh, yeah, I used to recreate the image, but uh, I think, uh, of course, it's the open source. Um, yeah, you can, uh, I mean, develop it in some uh, programming language like Python or something like that. And yeah, I just edit the video with the, those images uh, can generate and uh, with the sound design. Um, yeah, extra, I, I mean, the, the narrative. So, yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, since Wells is here, okay. Um, 
No, I can ask something from Hannah and she's here with us. Um, there is, uh, I mean, did you make everything in your phone? I mean, is it like a, made with a screen capture? How did you make it? Or did you edit it somewhere else? It looks like, because of its format, I say it's like a um, vertical format other than the other videos. Okay, I can translate for you, of course. Uh, frame. Uh, so she says she uh, prefer to do it in the mobile phone, although she could do it in a computer or iPhone with a Premiere or another editing software. And a little bit of the backstory, if you want to share, it's about like a mobile phone which is taken away uh, when uh, she was a teenager and therefore she lost their communication with the friend and yes do you want to say something? Yes, the was a mobile phone and because of یه سر چارچوب خانواده و اینا از من از من موبایل هم گرفتن که من راحت به درس و این چیزا برسم و وقتی موبایل از من گرفتم من ارتباطم کلا با اون آدم قطع شد و اینجوری نبود که فقط یه موبایلی از من گرفته بشه یه سری آدم یه سری خاطره و یه سری ارتباط کلا قطع شد so there was when she was studying in high school um... Because of her grades, I mean, I think the family took away the, the mobile phone. And be, beside that, uh, not having access to the mobile phone, uh, a relationship and many friendship also lost. So this is an attempt to recover from that um, uh, moment in her life. And it has uh, something to do with her studies, you know, that to help her with her studies. That was the decision made by the family and some other um, issues around it. But uh, what she lost, it was bigger than just an iPhone. Yes. Um, you want to add something? No, okay. Uh, and then, I don't, I don't know, um, Falgush is here also. Do you want to say something about your work or not just, because I know that you might be tired. I mean, I also saw Ada was typing, but maybe she changed her mind. Um, I'm also thankful to all of you to to watch the program. Oh, she's still typing again. Uh, yes, not a question, but a comment. Oh yes, this is for this is by Arash. Uh, I, I read it loud for the record. Not a question, but a comment. Uh, Edder says she loved the phrase from the second video, if the artist is here, a poet who forgot the appropriate word. So this is a piece of a larger installation by Arash Hanai. And he, um, this is the first time actually being shown as a, a separate uh, video on its own. And yes, I like all also I agree. I like the word quote in the in the video as well. Um, Amir is typing. In the meanwhile, while Amir is typing, I wanted to also thank you, um, Ekmel and Amber Festival. This was actually a bit of archive and a bit of like new pieces actually. I would try to also somehow put it together in a way that then goes uh, smoothly toward the end although we have like speeding up in the middle and then with the orange fires piece i mean just slowing down until the stop so i was looking at it as a like a kind of a connected but also divided position of the of the subject uh, as a response to the theme of the festival also post-digital ignorance uh, I hope that it could uh, bring something, some questions. And, um, but uh, part, part, part of the works, I mean, they're like the, in the in the 2000, they're like made in 2000, I don't know, five, six, seven, 
early i mean so you can see technology wise and uh, also how uh, what was the the main uh, concerning media that our artists are responded to so it was like satellite television like mobile phones and when we go further we, we have um, I don't know, ai different uh, adaptation incorporation of codes and so um, generally i mean i was also very um, it was a kind of a learning process for me as well i like the idea to to look at the like this like as a timeline although the work hasn't been chronologically shown but more like as one after another with some sort of connection so Oh no, Amir is typing a long sentence. <laughs> and uh, yeah, CLS Works is also, I mean, just won a prize also in the uh, in UK, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so congratulating him as well on the award. It was like won the jury award from, uh, it, uh, can you type the festival? CLS, I totally forget. Um, an Arbor Fest, Film Festival, if I'm not, if I'm not, if I don't say it. Uh, yes, yeah, see she's typing now. So, if there are no more questions other than Amir, I mean, this would be like, it could be one of the last question. I mean, a question on the last video, I wanted to ask if the whole thing was like a chronological collage of your mobile camera room and what was the underlying concept. So we were thinking of, somehow it reminded me of my own camera, a complex of screenshots, moments, etc. Um, yeah, I mean, so, uh, I mean, I can just put, uh, put what Arash wrote as a, as a quote here. So this is a um, single channel, but uh, video, um, which is on a, on a on various, appears in various uh, durations, and uh, I put it in the chat. She, he, he started to, since fall 2016, a series of one minute or less uh, videos that has been produced or posted on the artist Instagram account, and each time the work is shown a new assemblage of the video uh, up to the day of the screening uh, from the version of the video. This is an um, older version, this is not an updated version, but this is like uh, actually, um, the, and the, the, the title of the work is borrowed from the introduction of uh, Franco Bifo Berardi's book and Phenomenology of the End. So this is kind of a, like an uh, ongoing project of, of his, and yes, I mean, it has something to do with the um, mobile phone in hand. And Arash is not here, I don't see his, him. No, by the way, it is her, his birthday today, so I, I can imagine why he's not here. <laughs> I have better things to do, I'm joking. Um, but thank you for the question, uh, Amir. Um, I would like to slowly close if there are not no further questions and thank the Amber Festival team and uh, all the people involved. And yeah, Ekman is typing too. So thank you for joining us tonight and um, I hope you enjoyed the program. Mm. No, likewise, I mean, it, was, uh, it wouldn't be yeah, thank possible you. Thank otherwise. You. Thank no, you. thank uh, yeah. you. Yeah. Artist work. Well, I also want to thank all the uh, artists. I mean, some of them, they really, they, they made, the, I mean, they, they, they made, the, they were making new works and then they were um, kind enough to finish it for this program. So I'm, um, I'm happy to put this to, together and I, I will see Hopefully, we could something interesting coming out of it. Thank you, Farouk, and thank you all. So it was uh, it was a real pleasure, and hope to see you sometime soon. Yes. Paul Gush is typing, and thanks all. Okay. Thank you all, all the artists, all the people involved, and see you next time. So.
Bye for now. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs>